what we're seeing in some ways is a battle between the found ideas of the founders on the one hand and the ideas of the progressives and new dealers on the other. The ideas of the founders, more than 200 years old, the ideas of the progressives and the new dealers, 100 years old, 70 years old. And the progressives, new dealers argued that the Constitution was a horse and buggy document. It was out of date. It did not apply to a, a massive industrial society that had such technological mar marvels as the Model T. Uh, and mass assembly lines and textile mills in North Carolina, that in this situation, uh, ordinary people could not cope with the complexities of life and they needed centralized experts using command and control bureaucracies um, to make choices for them and to see how they could be best protected. And I think when the Obama Democrats passed the health care bill and said they were making history, they were, they were taking a sort of history that was taught by the progressive political scientists and the New Deal historians, an idea that history is a story of progress from no government to lots of government, um, and uh, that ordinary people need uh, an increased government at all times uh, in order to protect them. That's what they meant by making history. And what I think this election tells us is that the American people, the majority of the American voters this time, um, find the 100-year-old and 70-year-old ideas of the progressives uh, and the New Deals to be kind of tinny and out of date and not describing the society that we're in. We've moved beyond the Model T and Henry Ford's uh, $5 a day uh, mass production plant. Um, and that instead, the ideas of the founders, which were not rooted in the temporary economic condition of their society, but rather in thoughts more eternal about the nature and relationship of government uh, to, to um, man, men and women, um, were ideas that still ring as true as a, as a silver spoon touching a crystal glass.